Hey everybody, welcome to Brain Bender's Banter. Boy, do I have a treat for you. We're about to dive into a world of deep fried delights and sugary sensations that will make your taste buds scream for joy. That's right, folks, we're talking about fair food. Get ready to have your mind blown because we're serving up 10 mind blowing fair food facts you won't believe. First things first, we gotta talk about the OG of crazy fair food, deep fried butter. You heard that right, folks? We're talking about butter, battered up and deep fried to golden perfection. This heart-stopping treat was first introduced at the Texas State Fair in 2009, and believe it or not, it was a massive hit. I know what you're thinking. Butter, fried, that's gotta be a heart attack on a stick, and you know what? You're not wrong. But hey, we're at the fair, right? It's a place where calories don't count and cholesterol takes a vacation. So, how do they do it? Well, they take a big old pat of butter, freeze it, then dip it in batter. Then comes the fun part. They drop that bad boy into a deep fryer until it's golden brown and crispy. The result? A warm, gooey, buttery mess that'll leave you wondering how something so wrong can taste so right. Now I know what you're thinking, BBB, you're making me hungry. And you know what? I am too. But before we order a truckload of deep fried butter, let's move on to our next fair food phenomenon. Next up, we're diving into a flavor combination that's as unexpected as it is delicious, chocolate-covered bacon. Some folks might call it sacrilege, but I call it genius. Who would have thought that salty, smoky bacon and sweet, rich chocolate would be a match made in heaven? This sweet and savory treat is like a party in your mouth, and everyone's invited. The saltiness of the bacon enhances the sweetness of the chocolate, and the crispy bacon bits add a delightful crunch. It's a flavor explosion that'll have you saying, pass the bacon, please. But the best part? It's not just about the taste, folks. Oh no, this treat is also a feast for the eyes. Imagine this, perfectly crisp bacon strips, glistening with a generous coating of rich chocolate. It's almost too pretty to eat. Almost. Trust me, folks, if you're looking for a fair food adventure that'll tantalize your taste buds and leave you craving more, chocolate-covered bacon is a must-try. Now let's talk about a fairground classic that's near and dear to my heart. The funnel cake. This crispy, doughy delight has been a staple at fairs and carnivals for centuries, and for good reason. It's the OG of fair food fun, and it never disappoints. Legend has it that funnel cakes have been around since the 1400s, with roots in German and Pennsylvania Dutch communities. Back then, they were cooked over open fires in cast iron kettles, and let me tell you, they tasted just as good then as they do now. So what makes the funnel cake so irresistible? Well, for starters, it's all about the texture. We're talking about a crispy, golden brown exterior that gives way to a soft, doughy center. And then there's the flavor. A simple yet satisfying blend of vanilla and a hint of nutmeg. But the real magic happens when you top it off with a generous dusting of powdered sugar or a drizzle of sweet, sticky glaze. And if you're feeling really adventurous, you can even add some fresh fruit or a dollop of whipped cream. Okay folks, buckle up because we're about to enter the deep fried dimension with a treat that's as American as apple pie. Fried Oreos. I know what you're thinking. Oreos are already perfect, BBB. Why mess with a good thing? And you know what? You're not wrong. But trust me on this one, folks. There's something magical that happens when you take a classic Oreo cookie, dip it in batter, and deep fry it to golden perfection. The heat of the fryer transforms the cookie into a warm, gooey delight, while the batter adds a crispy, crunchy exterior that's simply irresistible. And the best part? The flavors of the Oreo cookie are only enhanced by the frying process. The chocolate becomes richer, the cream filling becomes even more decadent, and the combination of hot and cold is pure bliss. It's like the Oreo cookie went to college, discovered beer pong, and came back a whole new cookie. Now let's talk about a fair food icon that's as American as baseball and apple pie, the corn dog. This deep-fried masterpiece has been a staple at fairs, carnivals, and sporting events for decades, and for good reason. It's the perfect on-the-go treat, and it's guaranteed to satisfy your cravings. The history of the corn dog is a bit of a mystery, but legend has it that it was invented in the 1940s by a couple of brothers in Texas. They were looking for a new way to sell hot dogs, and they had the brilliant idea of dipping them in cornbread batter and deep frying them. And thus the corn dog was born. But the beauty of the corn dog lies in its simplicity. It's just a juicy hot dog, dipped in a sweet and savory cornbread batter and deep fried to golden perfection. And let's not forget the best part, the ketchup and mustard. Whether you prefer yours classic or with a side of chili and cheese, the corn dog is a true fair food icon that never disappoints. Hold on to your hats, folks, because we're about to tackle a fair food giant, the elephant ear. This massive pastry is a sight to behold, and it's even more delicious than it looks. Now, you might be wondering why on earth is it called an elephant ear? 
Well, just one look at this gigantic treat will give you the answer. It's big, it's flat, and it's got those signature crinkles that resemble, well, an elephant's ear. But don't let the name fool you folks, because this treat is all about the taste. We're talking about a light, crispy pastry that's been deep fried to golden perfection and dusted with a generous coating of cinnamon sugar. And the best part? Elephant ears are meant to be shared. Grab your friends, grab your family, and get ready to indulge in a sweet cinnamony treat that's big enough to feed a crowd. Get ready for a wild ride, folks, because we're about to explore the wonderful world of fried pickles. That's right, you heard me correctly. We're taking those tangy, crunchy pickles and giving them the deep fried treatment. Now I know what you're thinking. Fried pickles? That sounds kind of strange, BBB. And you know what? You're not wrong to be skeptical. But trust me on this one, folks. Fried pickles are the perfect combination of salty, tangy, and crispy. And they're surprisingly addictive. The key to a perfect fried pickle is all in the batter. We're talking about a light, crispy batter that perfectly complements the tanginess of the pickle. And of course, no fried pickle is complete without a side of ranch dressing for dipping. So the next time you're at the fair and you're feeling adventurous, be sure to give fried pickles a try. You might just be surprised at how much you love them. Get ready to float away on a cloud of sugary goodness, folks, because we're about to unravel the mysteries of cotton candy. This airy treat has been a fairground favorite for generations, and it's not hard to see why. It's light, it's fluffy, and it's oh so sweet. But have you ever stopped to wonder how they make those magical strands of sugar? Well, get ready for a crash course in cotton candy science. It all starts with sugar, which is heated until it melts and becomes liquid. Then, the liquid sugar is spun at high speeds through tiny holes, creating those delicate threads of sugary goodness. As the sugar strands cool down, they solidify and trap air, giving cotton candy its signature light and airy texture. And the best part? The possibilities are endless when it comes to flavors and colors. From classic pink vanilla to vibrant blue raspberry, there's a cotton candy flavor out there for everyone. Fasten your seatbelts, folks, because we're about to tackle a fair food legend, the mighty turkey leg. This behemoth of a snack is not for the faint of heart, but for those brave enough to conquer it, the rewards are oh so worth it. We're talking about a giant, meaty turkey leg, slow smoked to juicy perfection and seasoned with a blend of savory spices. It's the kind of food that makes you feel like a medieval king, feasting after a long day of battle, or, you know, a long day of riding roller coasters and playing carnival games. But the best part, turkey legs are surprisingly versatile. You can enjoy them as is, or you can get creative with your toppings. Some folks like to add a squeeze of barbecue sauce or a sprinkle of hot sauce, while others prefer to keep it simple with just a little salt and pepper. Get ready to have your minds blown, folks, because we're about to dive into the paradoxical world of fried ice cream. This mind-boggling treat seems to defy the laws of physics, but trust me, it's real, and it's spectacular. I know what you're thinking, fried ice cream? But how? Won't it melt? And you know what? You're not wrong to be skeptical. But that's the beauty of this treat. It's a testament to the ingenuity of fair food vendors everywhere. So, how do they do it? Well, it's a closely guarded secret, but the basic idea is to freeze the ice cream incredibly solid, then coat it in a protective layer of batter or breadcrumbs. Then, the coated ice cream is deep fried for a very short amount of time, just long enough to create a crispy golden brown exterior while keeping the ice cream inside perfectly frozen. And the result? A mind-blowing combination of hot and cold, crispy and creamy, that will leave you wondering how something so wrong can taste so right. Well folks, there you have it. 10 mind-blowing fair food facts that'll have you craving everything from deep fried butter to fried ice cream. I don't know about you, but I'm ready to hit the fairgrounds and indulge in all the deliciousness. And hey, if you happen to see me there, don't be shy. Come say hi and let's share a funnel cake or maybe even a chocolate-covered bacon. Just kidding. Unless, no, I'm just kidding. Until next time, stay hungry, my friends.